So yesterday we finished when the old woman had cleaned the pot and put it on the fire and it went skipping. You remember the rhyme that it sang as it went skipping? I skip, I skip, as fast as I can, I skip to the house of the very rich man. And before the old wife could answer, the iron pot had bounded off the fire and jumped through an open window and burst into a hearty laugh as she saw the little legs scampering down the road. Now the cook in the rich man's house was very troubled. She had made a rich plum pudding for dinner, but she found that the pudding was too large to fit into any pot that she had in the house. What shall I do, she said. There is not a single pot in the kitchen that will hold the master's pudding. And at that moment, through the open window and down the table jumped the old iron pot. Try me, it cried out. Oh, indeed I will, said the cook. And she popped the pudding into the pot. And then the pot cried out. I skip, I skip, I skip. Tell me where you skip, said the servant. I skip, I skip. As fast as I can, I skip to the house of the very poor man. And before the cook could catch her breath, the old pot was hopping along the road again. Now the poor man's wife was wondering what they would get for dinner. When suddenly the iron pot jumped into the window and came to rest on the table. Well, she said, I see that the old pot has brought us a fine plum pudding. And then she called to her husband for a meal. When the pudding, pudding was eaten, the wife scoured the pot and set it on the fire. In a little while, she heard it cry out again. I skip, I skip, I skip. Tell me where you skip, said. I skip, I skip. As fast as I can, I skip to the house of the very rich man. So can you sing along with me again? What did the little pot say this time? I skip, I skip as fast as I can. I skip to the house of the very rich man. And out of the window leaped the old iron pot and the little legs pattered down the highway across the meadow to the rich man's barn where several men were threshing wheat. What shall we put the grain in, they wondered. We don't have a container where we can put the wheat in. Well, here is an old iron pot, said one man. And so they began to fill up the iron pot with the wheat. And soon the pot held all the wheat that the men had threshed. And then the pot again cried out. What did it cry out? I skip, I skip, I skip. Tell me where you skip, said the man. I skip, I skip as fast as I can. I skip to the house of the very old man. And out of the barn door leaped the old iron pot and it skipped over the meadow and down the highway to the poor man's house. And with a great bound, it went through the window and stood in the middle of the kitchen as the old woman was working. The wife called the husband and said, Come and see what the old pot has brought us. Why, it's full of wheat. Let's empty it. It will last us a long time, the wife said, as they poured out the bushels of wheat. And the pot, and the pot was scoured again as bright as silver and set on the fire. Some mornings later, the old couple was eating breakfast when the pot again cried, I skip, I skip, I skip. Where do you skip now? they both asked. And the pot answered, I skip, I skip as fast as I can to the counting house of the very rich man. So where do you think this time that the pot was headed? Listen again. I skip. I skip as fast as I can. I skip to the counting house of the very rich man. And with a great bound, the pot leaped out of the window and pattered down the highway to the rich man's house.